hey everybody welcome welcome to the next video in this video we are going to discuss kernel modules so the kernel modules are basically stored in um, the home directory or the root folder uh, in the path slash live slash modules okay so these are basically the drivers that can be loaded and unloaded as well as needed um, or at the boot time okay so basically the modular not it is not statically compiled into the kernel all right so the idea is if you look at this picture the kernel is the low level aspect of your computer that basically sits between the user and hardware and 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 its job is to how to uh you know talk to cpu to communicate with the memory and to communicate with the devices okay so it basically uh, as you can see in the picture it basically communicates with the application it basically communicates with the cpu the memory and other devices like you know maybe a mouse or a mic the idea is that basically it takes all the information from the application and communicate with the hardware and it also takes all the information from the hardware and it communicates with the application so you can say that kernel is basically a bridge which takes the information from the application to the hardware and from the hardware to the application all right so simple is that so in order for kernel to communicate with the hardware it needs to have you know some specific modules okay it needs to have a module that can tell it how to do that and those modules are available and built in and a few of them you know they can actually be imported and they are external and they are externally available and you can use them as you need them okay so let's you know jump into the practical side of it let's open up our terminal press ctrl alt t so right here, um, in order to list the modules, what we can do, we, we can write here LSMOD, okay, LSMOD, okay. So when you hit enter, you can see that it has basically listed all the modules here. All right, so these are all the modules that are available, okay. So here, uh, these are like the name of the modules, the first row, and uh, you know the second row is basically for size the size of the module and the third one is basically you know these are just the uh, uh, comments you can say or the path some of the path or some of the information against each uh, driver or against the each kernel module and these are like the number of uh, uses of these modules okay so two one zero three so um, let's say that uh, if we uninstall one of the uh, modules, so let's install uh, uninstall this one, R8169. It is on the top, so it would be easy for us to you know know if it has been removed. Okay, so how do we remove um, you know a module, a kernel module? So what we're going to do here we're going to write here rm mod and then we're going to write here uh the name of that package which was essentially rm mod r8169 let me just um, confirm it that it was the name of it yes r8169 so i have here r8169 so if i hit enter now so you can see that uh, it tells me that the operation is not permitted because I have not written sudo here yet. So let me let me uh, uninstall it with the sudo sudo rm mod and uh, sudo basically you know uh, makes you a super super user and uh, you write here the package name which was which was r8169. I hit enter. It asked me for the password. I entered the password and now you can see. Uh, it has not given me any error. It means that it has successfully uninstalled it. Okay, so right now if I go and check the list of the modules, the kernel modules again, you can see actually here on top, uh, there is no such module as R8169 now.
right? It has been removed. So uh, what if we want to install our module? So let's let's install the module again that we have actually uninstalled. So the idea is that uh, all the modules are uh, in our uh, modules folder. So we would go to our home directory uh, in the lib folder. Here are the modules. And you can see here we have, you know, four folders in which our modules exist. So I really don't know uh, where that R8169 is going to be in, in these folders. So let's simply search, search it. So I write here R8169 and I basically find it, you know, quite easily. So here is that file. So I'm going to go to the properties and uh, just copy this path we need to copy this path we need to have it and uh, what we're going to do that we are going to install it so we write here we go to the terminal uh, let me just clear it so we write here a command named as sudo we write here sudo because if we don't then it is going to say that you don't have permission to do it obviously so we write here sudo and then we write here l uh, ins mod which basically is the abbreviation of install mod yes so i write here ins mod and then i write here uh, i copy here the path of that file i paste it and i paste the path of the file which i have copied and now i write here the file name which is slash r8169 essentially and uh, the extension of that file was like .ko, which stands for kernel module, maybe. Yes. So I hit enter. And uh, the package, the, sorry, the module, uh, the kernel module has been successfully installed. So let's check it out here. So ls mod, sorry. LS mod, we hit enter. And now you can see that uh, we have it installed, probably on the top right here you can see okay so similarly you can you know uninstall uh, or unload any module that you want or any driver that you want and in the same way you can actually load or install uh, the module that I have shown you here previously right here okay just copy the a path of the folder and just put in the file name and you are done okay so I hope you have learned something new from this video. This is linuxin.com, a training course from them, and I will see you in the next video.